Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Calibration Academy. If you are new on this channel, and if you have not subscribed our channel yet, then please subscribe this channel and press bell icon to get notification. First of all, I would like to inform you that we have achieved milestone of 10,000 subscribers in this week. And I would like to say thank you to all of my subscribers for your support. This is a short video on differential pressure transmitter manifold valves, and their position, when DPT is in service, and when DPT is out of service. First of all, let's take an example of three-valve manifold. As you can see in normal operation, both block valve is in open position, and equalizing valve is in closed position. On the flip side, when DPT is removed from process for service purpose, both block valve is in closed position, and equalizing valve is in open position. Now, let's take an example of 5 valve manifold. As you can see in normal operation, both block valve is in open position, and both equalizing valve is in closed position. And vent valve also is in closed position. On the other side, when DPT is removed from process for service purpose, both block valve is in closed position, and both equalizing valve is in open position. At the same time, vent valve is in open position too. Let's take one more example, when only high port side of DP transmitter is connected to impulse line, and low port side remains open to air. As you can see, in this situation, in normal operation, block valve is in open condition and bleed valve is in close condition. On the other side, when DP transmitter is removed from service, block valve is in close condition, and bleed valve is in open condition. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you like this video. Please give us your valuable feedback in comment box. Thank you once again.